Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Martin Sanger from Techno Buffalo, and today we'll be talking about Windows 10. Microsoft recently pushed out a new build of Windows 10, Build 10 240, and it's the closest build yet to the final release. With just two weeks until the OS is available to consumers on July 29, it's coming down to the wire. Today we'll show you Build 10 240 and also provide you a recap of everything you can expect from Windows 10. Probably the most exciting feature in Windows 10 is the return of the start menu. It's the same start menu we all know and love, but with a little twist. In Windows 10, you can either launch the new start menu in full screen or downscale the menu to a more manageable window. You can see all of your apps on the left hand side of the start menu and your pinned apps and live tiles on the right hand side. The search function inside the new start menu has Cortana built in, which means you can either start typing for a specific keyword or simply use your voice. And speaking of Cortana, she's now a part of Windows 10. You'll be able to use Cortana to run searches, launch apps, set appointments, and even location-based reminders for users who are using the mobile version of Windows 10. She has been a joy so far to use, and I think Cortana will make searching for things online so much easier since you're just talking to your computer and have your search results pop up immediately. We'll also be saying goodbye to Internet Explorer in Windows 10, replaced by a more minimalistic browser, Microsoft Edge. Edge promises a better web experience and make it easier to share, read, search, and get things done. One of the coolest aspects of Edge is the ability to annotate websites, which comes in handy more often than you think. You can also enable read mode to help you focus on the content you're reading, and there's also Cortana, which will show you more information in search results. For example, if you're looking for a place to eat, Cortana will provide details about restaurants, giving you directions and hours, and she'll even book a reservation through OpenTable, which I think is kind of cool. Notifications are one of the coolest features of modern operating systems. Our tablets have them, our smartphones have them, and now Windows 10 has them too. Action Center will show you all of your missed notifications from apps that you've downloaded from the Windows Store, to security and maintenance, to tips and tricks on how to use Windows 10. All of those notifications will live inside Action Center, making it easy to address and organize your day. Inside Action Center, you also have access to some quick setting toggles such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, brightness controls, airplane mode, and more. The ability to use virtual desktop inside Windows is something that I've wanted for a while now, and with Windows 10, we finally have that option with a feature called Task View. With Task View, I don't need to minimize a certain app just so I can switch to something else. I just need to add a virtual desktop and quickly switch between those windows. It's a very simple feature that adds a lot of value to Windows 10, making it so much easier to organize my workflow. Windows Store apps will also be much better with Windows 10. Microsoft said that Windows Store apps and regular desktop programs will both run in traditional Windows in Windows 10, which means you'll be able to resize and minimize them from the bar at the top, which I know is a feature a lot of Windows 8 users have been waiting for. Windows 10 is vastly improved on PCs, but Microsoft didn't forget about those who are using touchscreen devices. Windows 10 includes a handy continuum feature that essentially switches the interface between the PC-friendly desktop mode for a more touchscreen-friendly UI similar to Windows 8. For example, on a Surface Pro 3 or any Surface device running Windows 10, snapping a keyboard will automatically enable desktop mode and pulling it off will enable tablet mode because it knows that you took off the keyboard. Other than those major features, Windows 10 will also introduce Xbox integration, giving users the ability to stream games from your Xbox One to your PC. There's also a new Snap feature that will allow users to work on up to four apps at once on the same screen, a new task view that'll take you straight to a single screen that displays all your open apps and files, and a redesigned setting apps that looks more modern and simplistic. Build 10 240 has been a joy for us to use so far, and we can't wait till the official consumer release starts rolling out later this month. Windows 10 will be available for free on July 29 as an update for qualified Windows 7 and 8.1 devices, so make sure to check your devices for that update. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.